Luppet is a very strong VTubing application that anyone can use. In fact, Luppet was the very first program I personally used to make videos on this YouTube channel. And over the past few years, Luppet has added a whole bunch of different features and functions. Hello everyone, I'm your VTuber Senpai, and in today's video, I'm going to show you on how to install Luppet, how to use Luppet, and how to set up Luppet in OBS. Links for all the websites mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. Here on Google, what we're going to do is just type in Luppet. We are going to click on luppet.appspot.com. We are going to scroll down until we see the prices and we are going to click on the one for 6,000. We are going to go to this page right here. We are going to click add to car and we are going to buy Luppet. Luppet does cost around 50 US dollars, but it is worth the price. Great. Now that we have Luppet downloaded, all we're going to do is right click on it itself. We're going to click extract Luppet 2 and we are going to wait for it to extract. With Luppet extracted, we're going to double click on the folder. We're going to click on Luppet and then we're going to click on the executable icon. Here at the Luppet login page, we can see that we can enter in our username and password. We're going to use the same username and password that we use on the website to buy Luppet. Great. Now that we have the application open, let's take a look at some settings. So the first thing we're going to look at is system settings. Right here, we're going to see we can change the frame rate, the resolution of the application itself, the graphics quality, the language. And from here, we can apply the settings and go on to the next step. Great, now let's add our model to Luppet. All we need to do is click on Open File Folder. We are going to drag and drop our model into Luppet's directory. We are going to close this. We are going to close Luppet and reopen it. Now that we reopen Luppet, let's select on our avatar itself. Then let's select on our camera and let's click on Start with this model. So now that we're at the Luppet main screen, let's take a look at some settings. So we got different things here like background settings where you can change the green screen to whatever you like. We got brightness over here so we can change the ambient light if we chose to do so. We got bloom, which we can make ourselves brighter and we got different exposure settings if we want to play with that. Lighting wise, we could change the lighting and the position of said lighting, which is pretty cool. We got webcam calibration. Now this is something you will be using more times than not. What you want to do is look straightforward, where you would kind of typically look at your monitor and click on calibrate. We're going to wait for five seconds and we're going to see that our avatar on the bottom right hand side is now looking up instead of down, which it was doing prior. The next menu we have here is our leap motion settings. Leap motion is a device that does hand tracking. I do have an older video covering on how to use Leap Motion, so make sure you check that out. So the next menu we're going to be looking at is character positioning. So on our bottom right hand side preview window, we're going to see if we use the scroll wheel in and out, it moves the camera in and out. We hold down and right click, we could change the position of the avatar, and we hold down the scroll wheel and we can actually move the camera going up, down, left and right. Here in Luppet's lip sync settings, we can see we got two options of doing lip sync, either voice based, which is the one I highly recommend, or camera based, which means if your lips are moving and you're not really saying anything, your camera can detect when the lips are being opened and closed. But honestly, I highly suggest just sticking with the voice based lip sync. Right here, we're gonna select our microphone, which is the default, and we're good to go. So now what we're going to do is look at Luppet's character advanced settings. And in this menu, it's basically just changing the shoulder angle of your avatar. Nothing too special. Looking at Luppet's tracking menu, we can see that Luppet does actually have two different ways of tracking. One is with your default webcam and the other one is with eye facia mocap. They do have a tutorial on how to do it, so make sure you check it out. And on the final menu of this is the snapshot. So we can see here, we could take a photo if we wanted to, or we could change some different settings like rotating the camera 90 degrees, which is fantastic for things like TikTok. We got mirroring. So it actually mirrors like, say if you're using your left hand, it'll show you using your right hand instead. 
Okay, great. Let's get Luppet ready for OBS though. First thing we need to do is make our green screen full screen. To do that, we need to hide all of this big menu. So what we need to do is hit the escape key on the top left hand side of our keyboard. And as we see, this full screens us. And from what we learned from before, we can move our avatar around, make sure the positioning is correct, make sure the camera angle is correct, and it looks like we're good to go. Now that we're mostly done with Luppet, let's get our OBS open and connect Luppet to OBS. To connect Luppet to OBS, all we need to do is click on the plus sign under sources. We are going to go to game capture. Under game capture, we're gonna type in Luppet. We're gonna click okay. Mode, we're gonna change that to capture specific window. Window, we're gonna to change to Luppet and we are gonna click okay. Then here, we're going to adjust Luppet to the size we want it to be. We're gonna right click under sources. We are gonna click on filters. With the filters menu open, we are gonna click on plus on the bottom left hand side and we are gonna click on chroma key. Then what we're gonna do is gonna click okay. As you see, the background did disappear so did some of our sweater. So what we should have done is maybe change it to a blue screen and then under color key type, we could change it to blue, magenta or a different custom key. And then we would be probably a-okay. But what we're gonna do now is click on close and we see that our avatar is in the right position and everything's working as it mostly should. And just like that, we got Luppet connected to OBS. So we're all pretty much done and ready to go. If you happen to like today's video, make sure you leave a comment, you like the video, and if you wanna see future VTubing content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Again, I'm your VTuber Senpai. I stream here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings. So come on by, say hi. Let's talk about VTubing, gaming, anime, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.